Hey everybody, so I just want to say up front that normally on my channel I review and go over all sorts of aspects of devices with 3D displays. So glasses free, 3D tablets, or anything like that is what I normally feature on my channel. But today I'm going to do something a little bit different because I just purchased this MacBook Air 15 inch laptop. I have been using my 15 inch MacBook Pro for close to seven years now and it's starting to show its age and I'm struggling with my video editing. I think this 15 inch MacBook Air is a good solution to the problem that I have right now. So in today's video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of my new MacBook Air 15 inch laptop. The other thing that's different about today's video is the way I'm filming it. But I'm filming this with two 3D tablets at the same time, a Nubia Pad 3D and a Loom Pad 2. And hopefully I'll be able to produce this video in 3D as well. So I don't think MacBook Airs or MacBook Pros need too much of an introduction. I'm just gonna go straight into the unboxing and let's see how this thing looks. It is quite a sizable package. I mean, it is a 15 inch laptop and on the back you can see that there's white tape with green arrows showing you where to peel off. And then the side of the packaging is just showing the name of the product and the Apple logo. So it has MacBook Air and then the front as you just saw is just a side view of the slim looking MacBook Air. Logo on both sides of the package. So I'm gonna open this thing right up. First, let's start by peeling off the tape. And that comes right off. I'm gonna be careful to tip this down. Now let's take that cover off. There we go, so the inside on the inside, it's protected by this little film. It seems to be a different type of texture than the film that I've encountered before. It's more of a papery texture, not so plasticky. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if that's an improvement in the quality or um, cost cutting, but it's interesting. You can lift this up and take out the laptop. If I flip it over, it's hard to read anything on this because the text is so white. So here it is, the laptop pulled straight out of the package. It's actually very thin and light. Compared to my MacBook Pro 15 inch uh, laptop, this thing is is very light. Feels comfortable to hold. Right, let's unwrap it. All right, so opening this up, I just remembered that the version that I ordered is this cool moonlight gray. I've never owned a laptop with this coloration, so I'm excited to actually own something that looks a little bit different. If you can see my computer back there, it's a, more of a lighter gray, more of a silver color. But this one is a really sleek, cool looking dark silver, dark gray. That's really cool. Okay, I'm a bit surprised by these little knobs on the bottom too. I wasn't expecting it to have that. I didn't really look up a whole lot of detail on this computer ahead of time other than spec-wise if it will work for me. To keep the laptop off of the surface of a desk or a table, it's got these little little feet on it. So this is what the laptop looks like and we can flip it over. Let's take a look at the front. Here's a brand new moonlight colored MacBook Air 15 inch. Inside the box it comes with the power cord and then this. So here's the uh, power cord that it comes with. The reason I went with this smaller power adapter is because it has two USB-C ports in it, which means I can charge my phone and my computer at the same time. I mean, I can basically use it to, to charge a device and then to power my laptop at the same time. I thought that sounded the most convenient. So let's unpeel that. There we go. I've never used one of these chargers before, so this is interesting for me. This is new. It is much more compact than the traditional power adapter for a MacBook, so that's a plus. I mean, I'm used to using these hefty, huge power adapters from back in the early 2010s or when I purchased this MacBook Pro 2016. Things pretty huge. So this is a nice change for me. And then this cord too. It's got an interesting texture. It's like kind of a ropey feel, you know, not the typical white cord like you would see like this. And I'm not used to this type of stuff, this texture, because it's been quite some time since I've updated my computer. Um, I do have a Windows as well, which is my yoga book. It's been in one of my previous videos. You know, I showed it for a minute or mentioned it, uh, this computer. But both of those were purchased around the same time in the fall of 2016. 
Then inside this, it looks like a couple little pieces of paper that are probably... Oh, it comes with two stickers. That's cool. Instructions. And then this one. It's also a quick start guide to the MacBook Air. So again, the main things this comes with are this quick start guide, the power adapter with two USB ports for charging, the actual cord that plugs into the computer, and then the USB-C end of it, and then these two Apple stickers. Okay, now that I've got it out of the box, let's turn it on and see how it runs. Open it up. And then there's a little film on the front of it. I'll peel that right off. It's quite a reflective screen. Let's get started. I'll go with English and then my country region. Looks like it auto detected my region. That's kind of cool. Preferred language, input source. I'm going to skip over the accessibility stuff. In the next step, it wants me to connect to my network, so I'll do that. Data and privacy. I'm not going to migrate anything now. Sign in with my Apple ID. And that's pretty much it for the setup. So it was quick setup. It's lightweight. I love the feel of the keyboard. And I'm excited to try out some video editing on this thing because it has an M2 chip versus the i7. I also went with the 16 RAM version with 8 GPU. If you're considering getting one of these, feel free to ask any questions you have. I'll be using this for all the editing I do as long as it works okay. It's going to probably be quite a while before I purchase another Mac. I had actually been holding out because I was hanging on to the faint hope that Apple would see the potential of 3D displays and release a Mac with a 3D display, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen quite yet. Looking at the Vision Pro, they're using a 3D display, so Apple does have access to the technology. They should know about it. They should know what they're doing. It's possible that it will eventually make its way into their iPhones and Apple laptop products, which is exciting because they're focusing on 3D content, taking 3D videos and photos. It seems to be a highlight of their newly announced headset, so I think there's room for hope, but it's just my old laptop couldn't hold out any longer, so I had to get something new for the time being, and hopefully it'll work great. If you're mainly interested in this Mac and you're wondering how it performs and can be used for fairly lightweight video editing or the type of videos that I make. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. However, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, my channel is almost 100% dedicated to 3D display technology and the different content and experiences that can be had on those types of devices. So I'm not planning a series with MacBooks or future videos unless I happen to maybe get another major upgrade or a new Mac device. The one last thing I do want to leave you with is that I did order another brand new laptop and this one is going to have a 3D display. It's an Acer product and if you're excited to see me unbox that and then do a series of reviews on that laptop and the apps and software included in it, then definitely subscribe to my channel, like this video, and be sure not to miss out on the future videos that I release because that laptop is arriving soon and that unboxing video should also not be too far behind. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and comment on anything you would like to. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions, and I will see you in the next video.